Hello lovely theater kids and welcome back to another week of theater inspired. So this week I'm going to be doing another tea time chat and this chat is kind of about something that just recently happened to me that I feel will happen to a lot of actors in the future. So I just wanted to kind of talk about like what happened and how you guys can deal with it. So today for tea I am drinking a Mad Hatter from the coffee shop on my campus. Um, basically that's their name for it. It is also known as a London Fog and if you don't know what that is, basically it's uh, black tea with cream and vanilla flavoring. So let's get started. So basically what I wanted to talk about today is, as you probably saw in the title of this video, is declining roles. Now this is something that I feel every actor will have to go through at some point in time. And I will be honest, it totally sucks. Basically to start out, once you are a theater major or a minor, once you are declared one of those things, you are required to audition for every single show. And if you are given a part, you are required to take it. You are not allowed to decline a role. So during my school career, I have never had to decline one because I wasn't allowed to, but not that I wanted to anyway. But just this past week, actually yesterday, I had to decline a role that I was really looking forward to doing, which really sucked. So I am graduating college in May. I'm staying around New Jersey for the summer. So I was looking for a couple local community theaters to audition for. One was doing The Little Mermaid. I was really excited. They're doing it with Heelys and it was going to be so cool. And they were double casting it. So I had a higher chance of getting cast. So I was back home in Massachusetts during the auditions, so they allowed me to send in a video. And I thought, oh, it's a video, like they're going to cast people who are actually like going to be present at the auditions, blah, 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 blah. But lo and behold, on, it was Wednesday. Wednesday, I got an email saying they wanted me to be a Mer sister. And I was so excited. I was like, oh my gosh, I get to do a summer show. And like I get to be in The Little Mermaid, like who doesn't want to be in The Little Mermaid? But then I looked at the rehearsal schedule. So what they were doing was they had a June cast and a July cast because the run was so long. Um, and they had put me in the June cast. And they said, okay, rehearsals start Monday, April 3rd, which is if you're watching this the day it comes out on March 31st, that's this coming Monday. So it was a very quick turnaround. And they said uh, rehearsals will be Sundays, Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. So that right there scared me. Um, Sundays, I have rehearsal for Young Frankenstein that I can't miss. Young Frankenstein is my school's musical, if you don't know. Um, Mondays, I start my day at 9 in the morning. And I do not get back to my room until 9 at night. So that's out. Tuesdays are free. I don't have anything going on. Thursdays, I usually have free, but there may be conflicts with Young Frankenstein rehearsals. So I basically asked, I did send an email and asked, like, because this is double cast, is there a way I can switch to the July cast so I can have a later rehearsal time? Because I graduate in May. And I'd only be able to come to those Tuesday rehearsals up until May, which isn't fair to anybody. And then, so I emailed them and they said, well, we're rehearsing the cast simultaneously, so that won't really work. But if you wanted to come on that one day a week schedule, we'd drop you down to the female ensemble. And which is a really cool thing. I'd still get to be in the show, but I was thinking about it. And I realized that if I did take that, I would be missing so many dance rehearsals I, and I'm not a dancer and so it would take a lot for me to catch up and like do all that which is really hard and so I'm realizing that I don't have time in my schedule to do this show like I wanted to and that really really stinks so I had to email them back and politely decline the role I basically told them that I'm very sorry, I really wanted to do this show, but my schedule simply won't allow me to do it. And that's not fair to you, and it's not fair to your theater. Basically, like, the idea of declining a role always sucks, and, like, I was really looking forward to being in Mermaid, but sometimes you just can't overbook yourself. 
like you need to know your limits like I knew if I had tried to do it I would have to take more rehearsals off for tech week for young Frankenstein for graduation for the plans I have after graduation like that would not have been fair to the cast the director the crew the theater company itself like it would not have been fair to them when opportunities come knocking sometimes you can't take them and honestly it's okay at times and it's okay to say no to a role that you really wanted because you simply do not have the time to do it now it's like it's one thing to decline a role because like you didn't get the part you wanted like say if I had gotten like starfish number two and I had been going for Ariel and I declined the role purely because I didn't get Ariel that that is not professional do not ever decline a role just because you didn't get the part you wanted like that to me is unprofessional don't ever do that but in my opinion my reasoning behind declining a role was like a professional reason like I did not have time I did not know when their rehearsals would be starting so therefore I auditioned blindly thinking I could do it had I known their rehearsal schedule ahead of time I probably wouldn't have auditioned and wouldn't have had this problem but basically I just wanted to say like sometimes declining roles has to happen and sometimes it sucks but you have to know your limits and also don't ever decline a role purely because you didn't get the part you wanted because that's just dumb and unprofessional so always take the opportunities that are presented to you but sometimes you can't and that's okay that is today's lesson and I thank you for joining me for another tea time chat I hope you liked it I know this is probably like long and boring but I just wanted to talk about this because I feel like it's something that everybody goes through at least once in their career so don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you want to watch more theater videos on Thursdays or Fridays Comment down below some of the roles you've had to decline in the past for scheduling conflicts or like other shows you are in. I'd like to see those. So um, I will see you next week on either Thursday or Friday. And I will see you then. Hope you have a great week, guys. Bye.